Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be vibe coding with GLM 4.7 at over 1,000 tokens per second. So um, this is something new as of January 8th, and we just tried it out yesterday on stream. So I wanted to make a video on it because I was very impressed. I want to show you how to use GLM 4.7. Um, but really, the main thing is that you're able to actually use it at over 1,000 tokens per second. So with that being said, um, I do have a like goal on this video of 152 likes. So if you guys could like the video, uh, we also have the top vibe coding community on the internet right now, the fastest growing. So if you want to join our discord community uh, in the description down below, go check that out as well as make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you're notified of any new live streams or video releases from BridgeMind. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So I want to talk about first, like how can you actually use this? So Cerebras, if you guys are, however I'm pronouncing, I may be pronouncing it wrong, but Cerebras, um, you can go to Cerebras.ai and you can see that they put a blog out on January 8th, 2026, so only two days ago. This is very new. And what they announced is that GLM 4.7 Frontier Intelligence at record speed now available on Cerebras. Okay, so if we look at this, you can see that it's live here at over 1,000 tokens per second. And as you guys know, GLM 4.7 is actually a fairly good model. It's inexpensive. Um, and now at over 1,000 tokens per second, that makes it like absolutely insane. So I want to show you the web dev leaderboard. And something to note is that GLM 4.7 is now actually outperforming both GPT-5 and Minimax M2.1. M2.1 was outperforming GLM 4.7, but in the recent update, uh, GLM 4.7 is now winning. So that makes it pretty much, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the sixth best model. And if you go over to Open Router, it's very inexpensive. Look at this, 40 cents per million on the input and then a dollar fifty per million on the output. And what's crazy is that now, if you look here, you can see that the throughput tokens per second is typically in the range of like about 30 to 50. But on Cerebras, you're able to use it at 1000 tokens per second. So how we're able to do this is I actually do have an account with Cerebras. So all you have to do is just go over to like pricing and I signed up for a free account. But then I just put like $10 in my in my account and then I got an API key. So all you have to do to be able to do this, and I'm going to be using this in BridgeMind. So I'm going to launch a new workspace here. Let's just call it workspace one. And I'm going to CD into the directory that I want to work with. And we're going to launch open code. So open code was something that we just tried yesterday for the first time. We're actually going to launch two instances of it. So I'm going to launch open code in two windows. This is the BridgeMind IDE. Um, this is the project that we're actually currently working on. So you guys are going to be able to see me uh, work on this as well as show you GLM 4.7. So you can see that I'm actually, I have it configured GLM 4.7 with Cerebras. Okay. So if we do models, what I want to show you guys is that um, you can use GLM 4.7 in open code Zen for free, right? But there is rate limiting and it is, I mean, you get what you pay for, right? It's free. So there's heavy rate limiting and it's a little bit slow, but we configured it with Cerebras and all you have to do is you can do connect provider in open code by just doing control A, and then you're able to search for a provider. So all you have to do is search up Cerebras, and then you're able to input your API key, and then they ask you basically what model you want to connect with, okay? So we've already gone through that process. You also can connect this to, to Cursor, um, but we're going to use it in open code today just because I do like the CLI experience a little bit better. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to show you guys how this works. So let's just give it a prompt um, and we'll get started. You can see here, let's go over my Kanban board and we do have a couple of tasks that are still in progress. So I want to just give it a quick, uh, a quick task. I want you to review... Uh, the BridgeMind project using the BridgeMind MCP to see all outstanding in progress tasks. A lot of these are marked as in progress, but they actually have been completed. So what I want you to do is for each of these tasks, I want you to review the task that's in progress. And then I want you to check the code associated with the task and see if the task has been completed or not. If it has, I want you to remove to move it to completed and update the task so that it's marked as completed. But if it hasn't been completed, then I want you to then complete the task. But I need you to actually go through the in progress tasks in either, um, I need you to review the code and then I need you to review the task and make sure that it's either um, still in progress or completed and then update or mark the task accordingly. Okay, so we're now going to have open code. This is a pre, and look at this, what is this? Is this a, uh, okay, this is, oh, that's a whisper flow, okay. Um, 
So I'm just going to give it this prompt. So this is going to be able to use the BridgeMind MCP. As you guys know, it's able to go list my projects, then list out all of the tasks. It's then going to be able to actually review those tasks. And one by one, you can see that it's looking at the 26 tasks and it's able to go through each of those tasks. Now, here's what I do want to talk about. You can see how fast this is moving. It's moving incredibly fast. If you use Open Code Zen and use GLM 4.7 and Open Code Zen, it is much slower than this. But the issue with this is that I continue to get rate limited. And I actually believe that this is happening on the Cerebrus end, okay? So um, like for example, if we launch cursors, so let me just open up a quick window here and launch cursor. And we're just gonna open up, cause I do have this also configured with cursor, okay? So we're gonna launch cursor and we're gonna do something similar, okay? So let's pull up cursor, cursor is now launched. Um, and what I wanna show you guys is I'm having this same problem inside of cursor. So if I go over here and I go to ZAI GLM 4.7, this is what I have configured there. And I'm gonna give this a different prompt. I'm just gonna say, I want you to review the BridgeMind UI project and I want you to particularly review all of the pages in the project to ensure that every page has a meta description, meta title, and meta keywords tag to make sure that it's following best practices for SEO. If there are any pages missing that do not have these tags, make sure that you properly add them so that each page integrates best SEO practices. Okay, so we're gonna do kind of an SEO update here, okay? And this is like a pretty big task because what you're doing is you're looping through every single page um, and making sure that it has that task. Okay, what is it? Oh, I turned it off, didn't I? Okay, hold on here. Um, so to configure it with cursor, let's just do that real quick because I did turn it off. So um, let me just go here. We're going to go to our cursor settings. And what you do is to configure it with cursor, all you have to do is go to models. Um, and let me just zoom out a little bit here. So you go down to API keys and this is like pretty standard, right? You just do open, you do override and then you also have to turn this on, on you enable this. But the problem is, is this is now actually, um, what is this? Hold on. Let me, uh, let me get the correct key. Um, so I do still want this, but let's just grit this real quick. Um, let's do Gemini three pro. What is the base URL for Cerebrus for this search the internet and give me the correct URL to input here. Um, so you need to get the Cerebrus URL. I can give it to you guys in a second. You need, you do need to turn these off. Um, this is one thing that I'm not a huge fan of about cursor is that like, Hey, I would have rather had it kind of like save that if that makes sense. But while that's going, um, let's actually pull up and we did. The problem is, is that we actually updated the workspace. So we lost that. Um, workspace there. So we're gonna have to launch open code once again, which is fine. Um, but let's grab this key real quick. Um, okay, so Cerebrus. So let's just have let's do let's do this. Let's drop in this same prompt and drop it into Cerebrus. Um, so I'm pasting in the prompt that we had over in cursor because we may not be able to, you know, configure it with cursor in this video, but let's give it this prompt. And the issue with this is that it does move incredibly fast. But look at this, we're still at the tokens the tokens limit too many tokens processed retrying in 51 seconds so the thing to note about this is that yes you can use gln 4.7 and a thousand tokens per second but there's a little bit of a trade-off for that right and the trade-off is the fact that yeah it's um you're going to be getting rate limited so here's the um the url for this so let's let's try it in cursor and see if maybe the rate limiting we won't get rate limited as heavily um, and then now let's go over here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to cancel this because yeah, I don't want it to do that. I don't want to have to wait 50, uh, uh, literally a minute to be able to submit my prompt. That's, uh, that's, you know, you're going to cancel out, even if it's moving a thousand tokens per second, it's not worth it if you're going to get rate limited, but watch how fast this is. Um, because I don't know, maybe we're getting rate limited on the open codes, but see, this is the issue is we are getting rate limited on the Cerebrus side. Right, so we encounter an issue when using your API key streaming error, right? And we get this error. So the Cerebrus, like they're like, hey, you know, a thousand tokens per second, that's great. It sounds wonderful. I'm very happy that we have a thousand tokens per second. And when it is working, I will say that it does move at a thousand tokens per second, like 100%, but it's just that you're getting heavily rate limited. So it ends up kind of like canceling itself out because, hey, I'm trying to use it but I continue to get rate limited. So I'm interested in why this is even a thing, right? I mean, I wanna use GLN 4.7 at 1,000 tokens per second, but I continue to get rate limited. So, I mean, I can go check my account. I mean, I don't know why the rate limiting continues to happen. I don't know if other people are having this issue as well. 
um, we can try it because, for example, I can just copy this prompt and just to show you that, hey, this is a Cerebrus issue, right? Let's copy this prompt. Let's go over to BridgeMind and let's go over to, um, hold on here. Let's 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 cancel out of here. Um, let's open up open code. And what we're going to do is we're going to open, we're going we're gonna to open open code here on the right and then open code here on the left. And what we're going to do is we are going to use Cerebrus on the left and then we're going to switch to open code Zen on the right okay so we're gonna go to models and then we're gonna go to glm 4.7 and then we're gonna just paste in now i think we have to be careful because you definitely do not want to um, have overlapping prompts that are going to you know step on each other's toes but let's drop this in we'll give it to cerebras first um and so let's submit this and again it's just hey you're, you're hitting your rate limit so if we use zen it's going to be able to actually process that and work on it and it's free so i think that you have to be a little bit mindful of the fact that, hey, when you're using Cerebrus, you're going to hit these rate limits. So even though it does move at 1,000 tokens per second, um, you're going to get these, these rate limits, too many tokens processed, and you're going to get it. It literally starts rate limiting you after like 50,000 tokens. Now, I don't know what's going on here. Is open code... Like, okay, there we go. So open code, I mean, it is a little slow, right? I mean, this is a free model, so you get what you pay for. GLM 4.7, I don't even know how they got it to the point where it even is 1,000 tokens per second. I guess Cerebrus is just insane, and they have, like, super fast inference. Um, that's at least what I've read. But they're saying, hey, we have 1,000 tokens per second, which is fantastic. But it is possible that, hey, you're going to end up and look, it looks like in, in three seconds gonna, it's going to try again, and we'll see if... in Look at that, we're rate limited again. So let me pull up my Cerebras here um, and I'll see, I mean, are we getting, I mean, I would doubt that I'm like hitting my limits or anything like that. Let me pull up, let me log into Cerebras real quick and just check to see, I mean, yeah, this is, um, yeah, so check this out guys. So, I mean, I'll just pull up my Cerebras cl cloud here and this is their biggest thing is they say, hey, you know, we can go to billing and, Okay, so you don't have permissions to manage billing for this organization. Billing switch to or, an organization when you have admin access. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Now available on free tier and developer tier. So maybe there's something I'm doing on my end that is causing this to happen. Um, okay, let me see here. Okay, switch to bridge mind. Okay, so you can see I've got seven dollars in my account. Um, we can, okay, there we go, there we go. But then again, it hits the rate limits immediately. So what did it even, it, it hit its rate limits after 16,000 tokens. And you can even see here that I had 747 and hey, it's, it's working, it's using that API key. And we can even go to logs and you can see that obviously these requests here, like these are the requests and I'm getting rate limited. So total tokens, 16,000 tokens, and I was getting rate limited after 16,000 tokens. So it's fantastic that it's moving so fast, but hey, if you get rate limited after 16,000 tokens, then you can't even do anything. So I don't know if this is something that I'm doing on my end, if I don't have the correct plan, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below. But I was able to get this to work a little bit yesterday yesterday, but I just find it crazy that, hey, they're marketing this as, you know, a thousand tokens per second, and you're not really getting that because you're getting rate limited so often. So I'm going to abort this. Um, we'll kind of just let, I mean, GLM 4.7, it is a decent model. Um, here are the pages that it found that, you know, doesn't have metadata. So you can see the about pricing contact page home doesn't have its own. So, you know, it, it, it's finding good stuff. GLM 4.7 is a, is a very cheap, good model. You can use it for free on open code using open code Zen. I like that. But the issue is that, hey, it's just not very reliable and it's not very fast. And even with, you know, when we're, you're trying to use it with Cerebras at a thousand tokens per second, hey, it ends up, you know, being barely usable because you're just getting rate limited so quickly. So I like the model. I like open code. Cerebrus is interesting, but I think that what it comes down to in a lot of instances is reliability. Um, as a developer, as, as a vibe coder, I don't want to be getting rate limited. I don't get rate limited using Opus 4.5 with my Claude 20X plan, right? Unless I'm like using, you know, 30 sub agents and I'm going crazy on a bunch of tasks. But um, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think that um, open code with GLM 4.7, I don't think it's very fast. You know, if you're on the frontier, if you're using like Gemini models, if you're using uh, GPT models, if you're using Opus, Opus, your Claude models, just Opus. 
uh, 4.5. I think that it's going to move a lot faster here. For example, I think that if we were using Opus, it would move a lot faster. And then over here with Cerebras, hey, you're just getting rate limited. So, I mean, I, I want to vibe code at 1,000 tokens per second, but the problem is, is that I can't because I'm getting rate limited after 15,000 tokens. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys think I'm doing anything wrong, but I just wanted to try this out and make a video on it because this was something that people were talking about yesterday on stream. We did try it out yesterday on stream and we, we kind of ran into the same issue of rate limiting. So even though I have the money in my account, um, and it is fast. You can obviously tell that when it was working, when it was going, it was an incredibly fast, uh, you know, speed. I think that it is, it does look like it moves at a thousand tokens per second, but you get rate limited so quickly that you can barely even do your tasks. So definitely something to be mindful of. This is something that's up and coming. And I think that something to note is that, you know, we're going to have models in the future that the average is just going to be a thousand tokens per second, right? So this is what's coming. I think that this gives us a view of it, but you know, it's a little bit early on. Um, it's getting rate limited after, you know, 15,000 tokens, 16,000 tokens. So not really worth it in my opinion, but I'll let this open code Zen finish this uh, task here, but open code's pretty good. GLM 4.7 is pretty good, but Cerebrus, I'm not going to approve that. Just, you know, it, I, I get rate limited too quickly. So let me know if I'm doing something wrong, but this is my thoughts. Not bridge mind approved. Um, I'll see you guys on stream. See ya.